ADGs are proud of being ADGs because of the rich history that we have dating back to World War II. Operations including Vietnam, Somalia and also the Solomon Islands and East Timor. We're also proud of the blue beret that we wear. We're the only mustering able to wear the blue beret and we wear it with pride. The role of an ADG is primarily to provide security to any Air Force assets, be they within Australia or deployed on overseas operations. Some of our tasks may include patrol and surveillance operations and aircraft security operations, just to name a couple. The mustering is unique within the Air Force, where it provides more of an opportunity for people to work uh, outdoors. I joined up as an ADG because I like the physical work, I like playing with weapons and explosives, and it was a good challenge. An average day for an ADG trainee while on basic course, would be involved in two situations. The first would be out in the field, where they would be conducting daily field activities for a period of up to two weeks, involved in 24-hour operations. The second situation would be back in the barracks environment. The day would start at approximately 6.30 in the morning. We'd then do a PT session in the morning, which does happen up to three to five times a week. And then you'll start um, your study for the day, whether it's a, a weapons lesson, actually dealing with your weapons, like practical lessons, or it could be in a classroom, learning about different weapons and weapon systems. And then we'd usually knock off about four o'clock in the afternoon. Some work that may be required of the trainees after hours may include cleaning of the weapons, personal equipment checks, and also naming of equipment. The bond that you form with your mates is pretty much the most important thing I've found on course. Um, pretty much everything you do on course is about teamwork and um, communication with each other. Today we're just going through some one-on-one uh, -on -one sort of basic drill, uh, rolling through, doing target indications, uh, practicing our basic drill with long ammunition. Moving! The ADGs receive fitness training as part of the ADG course to lift their overall level of fitness, uh, also assisting in reducing injuries whilst the ADG is operating in the field. The activities located to my rear are functional training activities. The squat is a resistance training exercise. The rope pull targeted towards upper body coordination. The tyre flip activity utilised for development of many muscle groups. The jerry can carry is targeted towards improvement in upper body strength progressive wheelbarrow carry, targeting balance, coordination and strength. The sledgehammer activity is predominantly utilised for upper body strength and coordination. They develop an overall fitness level required for a field environment. At 1RTU you will have to achieve an operational fitness standard. As an ADG trainee you will have to achieve a pass in the specialist fitness test. Sit-ups, chin-ups, 2.4 kilometre run. Additionally, a pass in the battle efficiency test, the rope climb, the run dodge jump, the combat carry, the 15 kilometre march. A pass in the battle efficiency test is a graduation requirement. I thought I was fit enough to come here and do the ADG course, but uh, when I got up here I wasn't as fit as what I thought I was. I don't think I was fit enough when I started the ADG training. I think um, a lot of the fitness does come on course. Recruits could better prepare themselves for the ADG basic course by finding out their fitness standards early and training for those standards even before they get to 1RTU. Fortunately I was able to get some information off friends who had done the job before and was able to prepare myself that little bit more. So I went out, I researched the role, I researched the standards to be achieved whilst on basic course and set a goal to train myself to it before I even started the course. <laughs> The endurance level of an ADG is required to be at the highest standard. An ADG is required to stay alert during patrolling and pack marching over weeks or even months at a time. 
you always have to give 100% of your effort all the time. And you always have to be switched on from when you start the day to when you finish the day. Uh, the hours in the workload can be challenging throughout the day. Uh, the days can be long and very physically demanding, especially during field exercises. You always carrying a lot of weight uh, through the contact drills and basic drills. You do throw your body around a lot. This is what we carry, everything that we carry in our packs and our webbing when we go out field. Uh, in total, you're walking around field with about 40 kilos on your back, uh, pumping around day and night. It can be stressful on the body, but you get through it. Come on, boys. 12 down, three to go. Let's push it out. An ADG is required to conduct physically and mentally demanding tasks, such as working out in the field, construction of field defences, live fire exercises, and the use of high explosives. It's imperative that an ADG's body and mind remain strong at all times. Uh, we do do a lot of physical, physical training, as well as the job-related training as well. The days can be pretty hard on the body, mentally and physically. The biggest challenge on ADG basic course is just having the mental toughness to complete the course. I feel it's more mentally challenging than what it is physical. I knew it was going to be very physically tough, but I think for me it was, it was the mental side of things that's certainly um, been surprising. During the ADG basic course, there's normally a large number of trainees that fail to graduate. This may be due to physical injuries that they receive during training, and also not being able to adapt to the lifestyle that is required as an ADG. I've actually had quite a few close mates drop out over this course. Um, yeah, it's usually because of injury. Um, there are some guys that have been close mates of mine that just mentally couldn't take it. I don't think they were mentally or physically prepared for what this course had to offer. If you are considering joining the ADG mustering, you'll need to ensure that you have physical toughness, mental toughness, and be willing to work in a team environment. The working environment and the conditions in which an ADG is required to operate is considered harsh and extreme. The trainees on ADG basic course are trained so hard due to the nature of the job while on operations. Whilst on operations, ADGs are deployed into areas where they will experience danger in extreme conditions. At all times, the ADG will be in a, either a small or a large group working in a team environment. They have little time to themselves and are always relied upon to provide support as a team member. Once you learn to work as a group and get in a good tight relationship with all your mates, things become a lot easier. ADGs are proud to be in ADGs due to the fact that within the Air Force we are a small specialised unit with a small amount of people who entrust each other with their lives, trust each other to do the job and to come home safely. The advice I would give to any civilian who is about to prepare to commence military training would be to ensure they fully research the mustering to which they're about to go, so they have a full understanding of what will be required once they complete training. Uh, to any recruit coming out of 1ITU, I'd definitely say the biggest thing is to get as fit as you can before you start the course. Well, there's always more you can do, especially in this job where you've always got to test your limits and push yourself that further. Training hard is definitely an important thing to do before the course starts. On graduation from ADG Basic Course, I felt a sense of pride that I completed a rather arduous course. On my graduation day of my ADG Basic Course, it's one of the greatest days of my life. The ADG Basic Course will be one of the most challenging and rewarding experiences of your life. The course is very physically and mentally demanding, but if you are well prepared to take the course one day at a time, you'll have a greater chance of success. Mm -hmm.